Hey, 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 Uncle Mark in the mothership with a three-string cigar box guitar. This is Slow Blues in G, and I am using a uh, song by Leroy Carr called uh, Prison Bound Blues as a vehicle to uh, play around with soloing in the key of G. This is the way we're open. So there is also a companion video of uh, this uh, Prison Bound Blues by Leroy Carr. There's also a backing track so that you can take these uh, parts that I'm going to show you now and you can use them and move forward with your own special way of playing blues. So these are just some hard, uh, tried and true methods here. So uh, let me just start this song and uh, we'll just have some fun with it. So uh, here we go. Prison Bound Blues, Leroy Carr. Early one morning, the blues came falling down. Early one morning, the blues came falling down. So what do we got going on? G, D, G, 42, 34, 24. Those are my gauges. And these are wound electric guitar strings. And I'm playing through a Roland Mini Cube. And you've seen my settings. I'm just on the complete clean with a little bit of reverb. So the Brit combo and some reverb. So this tune is an open G. And it's got that old blues. And that note I'm playing here is an E. And I'm just... Uh, and this is on the fifth fret here and that is an A note right there and I'm going back to the G then I'm going to go up to the D and that's on the seventh fret going to that B C and going to that A how the blues goes and, and you can watch the uh, companion video and figure all that out. This is more a lesson on how to navigate soloing. So we know G is open. At the 12th fret you also have a G. Okay? That note is just incredibly important in this tune. You could just sit on this note. So like so. doing here is this is called vibrato. 
There's this kind of vibrato where you're wiggling up and down like so, right? And bending. And there's this kind of vibrato, and it looks like so. And BB King is the best I've ever seen at doing this. So if you want to find out how to do that style of vibrato, just watch BB King. We're going to take this note here on the 12th fret, this G. We're going to come up to this A, and we're going to bend that A up to B flat. Like so. Okay, and I'm not bending it up for bending's sake. I want to get a cry out of it. I love uh, crying notes. There are many, many guitar players who do this incredibly well. But I just... And you can also, you can uh, sit on here... So you can come up, and stop, or you can come up and come down. And hitting those notes, picking those notes out, not hitting, but kind of picking those notes out, that'll be your style of how you fool around with this. Uh, you know, if you listen to Eric Clapton, you will find that he's got a very good way of picking out exactly what he wants to play in these tiny little moves. Um, so look for Eric, look at B.B. King. These guys are fantastic. Also, something I like to do, I've always told you to stay in your hand, right? So this finger will play in this fret and this one and this one and this one and so on. We're going to actually move to this third finger. Anytime you get above the 12th fret, your third finger can do this fret and this one. So you can... So you'll use your third finger to come to that F note. So lots of guys use that third finger here. And their second finger crosses. So you're not going to see a one finger per fret above the 12th fret. It's just ease of management here. I use my pinky and sometimes I use my third. I'm not consistent. Uh, consistent would be great, but I'm just not that guy. So, uh, also, we've got that note. We've got this F to G and that D. This is a great little pattern. So, this note works. So, that's 15, 12, 15, 12. This is 14 bent, so it sounds like 15. That really, that little pattern works really nice. Also, up here on this C, that, that C works really nice coming back. So that's, what, 17, 15, 17, 15. See how nice this works here. I went from here, that 15 and 17 thing going on, and I came down to 10, 12. These notes work. 
These notes work because they're in the blues scale. We have a lesson on the blues scale. The blues scale in G, okay, starts out with G, F, D, C sharp, C, B flat, G. This note is the blue note. So that is that blue note, that C sharp. That's C sharp there again. That's why this bend works, because you're bending up to the blue note. C sharp is the blue note in the key of G. So if you can ever grab it. So here's a, a work on grabbing it. to vary where I'm going. So it's really fun to start here in G, work your way up, work your way back to this G on 12, and then work down to this G here, which is really that G open. So as you fool around with the fretboard, look in the places you are. So here we are on G. Then we move up to, then we can move up again, then we can move down, and then down to C. Then we move back up to G again, we up again, way up to C on 17. Back to D, back to G. So that's how I like to navigate a solo as a starting place. Move, 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 move. And it's all about your hand position. So I'm starting here. Then I start here. Then I start here. Then I go back to here. Then I'm back down here. Then I move back up here. That note works as well, as well as that one. So this is how I navigate my little solos, just to show you that, and things to practice while you're playing on that backing track. So this is how to play Prison Bound Blues, Leroy Carr, and this is a vehicle for learning how to solo a little bit. And uh, see the companion video, play around with the backing track, and definitely fool around with this. It's super fun, and you're really going to love it. It's just so fun. and uh, enjoy playing the blues, blues in G. It's Uncle Mark and the Mothership. Thank you so much for everything you do for me. I do have a PayPal link here down below. I also, a bucket show is all we ask. Thank you so much, and we'll see you soon.